The BBC has wrongly claimed that a cathedral in England is home to the tomb of King Arthur. A piece on the corporation's website appeared last week that covered a recent fire drill exercise at Worcester Cathedral. It relayed how children had been rescued and historic artefacts saved during a training exercise that imagined a huge fire at Worcester Cathedral. In doing so, it mentioned some of the prized historic items and burials that were contained within the building in Worcestershire, which dates back to 1084. Firefighters and ambulance workers held a training exercise where they pumped water up from the River Severn to douse the imaginary blaze. The drill was said to have been as a result of the fire that caused massive damage to Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris three years ago. In the course of its report, it claimed the cathedral is home to the tombs of King John and King Arthur. This is a mistake as the tomb of the mythical King Arthur has never been found and, in any case, even if he did exist, King Arthur's time period would be in the 5th or 6th century in sub-Roman Britain, not the Middle Ages when construction began on Worcester Cathedral. The church does contain the tomb of King John, the ruler who was made to sign the Magna Carta under pressure from his rebellious barons at Runnymede in 1215. It is not, however, the resting place of King Arthur, but Prince Arthur, brother of Henry VIII. Arthur Tudor never became king despite being the older brother as he died in mysterious circumstances six months short of his 16th birthday at Ludlow Castle. It was said that he had been afflicted by an unknown illness, malign vapour which proceeded from the air. Several possible suggestions have been made for the cause of death, including the mysterious sweating sickness that struck Tudor England in the 14 and 1500s. Returning to the fire exercise, which is interesting and reassuring nonetheless, the Dean of Worcester, the very Reverend Peter Atkinson, said, We have an historic library that is one of the most important in the country. That's where our most fragile artefacts are kept. Medieval books, Anglo-Saxon charters, King John's will, irreplaceable, priceless items. As a former reporter myself, I can say that accuracy is one of the most important factors in journalism. This error clearly slipped the BBC's proofreading processes. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.